The Samsung side panel is a launcher all into itself that you can modify to show the recent programs you've used and any ones that you want to pin to it. Okay, to activate it, simply go up here to your settings button and click on it to get to the details of your settings. You come here and you scroll down a bit and eventually you'll find display. Go ahead and click on that uh, to open that uh, settings up. So we'll do that and now we'll do some more scrolling. And you'll scroll down till you get to uh, edge panels, turn it on. If it's not already on, you'll see a little gray bar open up on the right hand side when you do that. So let's take a look. So if you have a Samsung phone and Android version 10, you should have this feature. Here I'm using a launcher, but on the right hand side of your phone, you see a little white bar there. Put your finger there and slide it to the left while holding it. And you'll see that all of a sudden, a side menu will appear. From there, you just press on one of the buttons. In this case, I'm going to do the calculator. And boom, your calculator it pops up. So what's so good about that? You don't have to go to your home screen to launch another app. You can just sit there on your calculator, slide over a little bit, click on an icon, in this case, Chick-fil-A, uh, go there and take a look at what you want for lunch. And then slide over again, uh, you need a map, you click on the map icon and you go there. So uh, what about some other apps? What if uh, you want to see all your apps? Well, you come down here to the bottom uh, no matter if you're home screen or on a application running, you go to the bottom and click on a little button down there. And when you click on that, you go up to the top and click on all apps. And you'll see that the list of all your apps and you can just scroll through these and get to all your apps this way. Well, what if you don't like the default ones that are selected for you? Well, you simply go back to it again, press the button on the bottom, okay, get up to the middle area where it says edit, you click on this. Here you can click on certain items. You'll notice that some at the top are automatically remembered. The ones at the bottom, you can add specific ones. So if I click on the minus arrow, arrow I can get rid of those. And I simply, to add whatever ones you want to have there, you come over to your menu on the left-hand side, and you drag it over there. Uh, I don't want that. Let's, uh, let's try that Chick-fil-A. So I'm going to grab the Chick-fil-A icon, and I'm going to drag it down here. Sure enough, there it is now on that menu. And as you can see here, I've done it over and over again until I have four of them. It actually uh, shrinks them down a little bit so you still have your favorites or your last use. You keep adding them in there, uh, whichever one you want to have. Uh, be careful you don't actually drop one on top of another one because it'll form a group. Or you, if you want a group, you can do that. Uh, where you can click once and you go to a group. If I do it right like that, it'll add this to a group. Just like it does on the, the Windows, the old Windows desktop where you do a... Uh, a group of uh, programs. But instead, uh, we're going to take that out and do it over here. Now it shrinks them down even more. So now there's two rows. But you can do this until you get as many as you want. Of course, it gets a little ridiculous after a while. And by the way, it works with any uh, launcher program, not just the launcher program that I have. By the way, you can just think of this as the taskbar for Android, uh, just like your Windows has a taskbar at the bottom. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want more, don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description of this video.